Good morning again from the Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. This is our second full day here. We've tried to go on a second hike, but failed, unfortunately, so far. The trail just like did not exist where it said it was on the map, so we're just kind of looking around for other trails. But meanwhile, we realized we were a little bit hungry, so we stopped off at this AMM Strawberry Restaurant. So strawberries, just like tea, is grown very widely in the Cameron Highlands. So there's tons of farms and a lot of farms you're actually able to go tour so this one happens to have a restaurant attached to it as well we just ordered some nasi llama strawberry i am barempa so we're not exactly sure what this is gonna look like on the menu it has green rice so it should be interesting yes the rice is indeed green so nasi lamak is a very common Malaysian dish here, probably the most famous dish, but it's just like rice, um, anchovies, peanuts, and a sauce. And then you can also get it with like an egg or chicken and stuff like that. So this one just happens to also have like a strawberry puree, I suppose. Still no idea why the rice is green though. Does it taste different? I don't know, yeah. Is it wasabi? Oh, is it spicy? I think it's, I don't know why it's not. <laughs> I had a milk of uh, the spicy stuff oh, at first, so okay. it threw me off. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to try it with just the green rice. Yeah. I just tried it on its own. It just tastes straight up like normal rice to me, so who knows? Look at this lovely little town. Strawberries everywhere. Strawberries and jam. Even just walk walking down the side of the road, there's strawberries. The greenery here. I can't get enough of it. We've pretty much given up on finding the start of the trail for that hike. We came across one or two of them that might have been the right place, but it was just, it just didn't look quite right. And it was just full of a bunch of trash. So we decided we're just gonna go look through all these cute little towns and see what kind of strawberry things we can find. Look at this town and how many of the buildings are actually being used as greenhouses. Mostly for strawberries, but probably for other things too. There's some, some funny looking... Um, yeah, like a squash thing down there? Yeah, kind of shaped like a carrot, but it's bright orange. Yeah, I don't know. And then there's obviously, these are obviously cabbages here. But yeah, Carl was just saying, obviously this is very fertile ground. to the Cameron Highlands Resort. This is a old historical hotel. It's a really beautiful, luxurious kind of place. And I feel like I'm not fancy enough to be in this room, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but we had to come for the tea and the scones. Trying scones in the Cameron Highlands is a really big deal apparently, and also all of the tea plantations and the strawberry fields. It's a really good combination. So the scones come with local jams, and the tea is obviously local tea. It should be really good. Do you want to wait for the scones? Are they scones? Are they scones or scones? I heard both.
lots of people come to this hotel to stay obviously but also to get the high tea so you can get like little sandwiches a bunch of desserts in addition to the scones what a beautiful hotel oh my gosh it's a snake it's pretty big actually I don't want to get too close because I don't have no idea what kind of snakes are here and if they're poisonous or not. Since being in Tanarata, I'm always getting the impression that this is like the Banff of Malaysia. If you're from Canada, like everyone will go to Banff. Like it's like a mountain resort town. And I feel like this place is very similar to that, similar vibes. We've got like the, the main street with a row of restaurants all connected here. And then like the beautiful pine trees everywhere with mountains. The mountains aren't quite as high as the Rockies here, but even still. It also has like the high luxury hotels on the hillside. A lot of similarities I'm noticing. Hello again, it's the next day now, and we're going on our final attempt to go on another epic hike like we did the other day. And so far, it looks like we're on the right trail. It's just all these bricks though. It's pretty interesting. It's not supposed to be a super long hike. Is that right? Well, this hike starts in the town, goes to Robinson Falls, which I think is only a 20 minute walk, one direction, 20 minute walk back. If the weather doesn't keep drizzling and raining, We'll do like a three hour hike as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think this is just a little, you know, this is a little half hour paved nature walk to see a nice waterfall. Super powerful waterfall. It's amazing. And no one else here. We grabbed a bunch of snacks before we left the town. We picked up some Cameron Highlands fresh strawberries. You can't pick them yourself at any of the farms, uh, but we just decided just to grab our own box from one of the vendors. And yeah, we're gonna sit here and try them out. Very fresh looking. Through the jungle that sometimes feels a lot longer. Well, that's also that could be at two kilometers an hour winding up and down a hill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the trail going up there. <laughs> I see. Hence why I'm taking a layer off. Yes, I will do the same. This is about eight inches long. I'm not no, don't, I don't want you anywhere I'm near not, it. I'm not gonna touch it, don't you worry about that. He's about the width of my finger. Yeah, Go away! <sighs> There's ten of them. Yeah. Never seen real water. Like yeah, it's temple. What do you think of the monkeys? It's scary. <laughs> it is a bit ominous to be watched by a troop of monkeys. Yeah, they're Maybe.
Well, we are leaving the Cameron Highlands today, so we've come to our breakfast spot. We usually find a spot for breakfast that we come every day, at least in the last couple places we've been. We like it here a lot, and the owners seem to be really excited when we come here, so it's fun. But usually, we stay much longer in a place, but in the Cameron Highlands, we're only here for four nights, so I feel like it was enough time, to be honest. Um, we got to see a lot of the hikes, and some of the strawberry fields, the tea plantation. Pretty happy with our trip here. So I always get a banana pancake with honey. That does look good, doesn't it? It's, it's good, you know it's good. <laughs> Carl always gets a nasty lemon with, with chicken curry. Which I also like to get, but this one I find just way too spicy for me. Yeah. So. Chicken curry at 7 a.m. is a bit much. Yeah. We didn't really talk about it yesterday uh, because we were too dead, but that hike was intense. We didn't really expect it to be such a strenuous, long hike. In the end, I think it took us like four hours mm. and it was very <laughs> overgrown. Like there were some parts where we were like, this isn't the trail, this can't be the trail. Going up and down and up and down on the mountains on like those like vertical up and down, almost staircases. Very interesting hike. Like jungle trekking is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we would recommend it. Another challenge is it was raining intermittently, so there were slippy sections. And we definitely slid a few times, mm. and I mean it's a rainforest, so it's it's always going to slip. Mm -hmm. It's loose mud. There's roots everywhere. It's just a trippy, slippy, hazardous environment. Mm -hmm. Just as we were leaving the restaurant, the owner came up to give us a hug goodbye. <laughs> She's, She's so, so nice. <laughs> 